Hey everyone, and welcome to a quick demonstration of Gravio. Gravio is a cloud-native video production platform, and in this video, you're going to see a quick tour of the features and workflows for live video production and streaming, as well as live clipping for VOD workflows. Let's get started with Gravio Producer. When you first load the producer interface, you are presented with the control room. This is where the management and main control of your live production takes place. On the right hand side, you can find the section for starting and stopping broadcast. You can simultaneously broadcast the produce feed out to platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, as well as any custom streaming platforms via RTMP. In the middle section, you have a preview monitor on the top left and a program monitor on the top right. Below the monitors are layers. You can add assets to multiple layers to help stay organized as well as to create complex compositions during your live production. The interface is fully customizable. Layers can be renamed and resized to cater for your needs. You can preview an asset before taking it live by simply clicking on the asset. You can also select multiple assets across the different layers, which will render the assets as different layers stacked one on top of the other. To take your preview live to program, simply click on the Take Live button and your preview will be pushed into the program out. As you can see, you can also apply a transition effect such as dissolves, fades, cuts, wipes, and slides. Besides clicking on these buttons, we also have keyboard shortcuts which help streamline the live production process. Quick keys for cuts, transitions, as well as selecting assets and layers for previewing. When pushing VOD assets live, a countdown timer will appear to help with the coordination of the production. The color bar and the border colors around assets help to quickly identify whether assets are in preview or in program or in both. Besides the full screen B-roll style VOD assets, you can also upload animated video assets with transparency as motion graphics. It is very simple to bring in more live sources into producer to mix with. Gravio supports common live streaming protocols like RTMP and HLS, as well as MPEG TS based protocols such as SRT, Zixi, and RIST. Let's go ahead and add a live SRT stream from my mobile device into Producer. As you can see, my mobile device is streaming a low latency SRT stream into the cloud and within a few seconds, you are now able to mix this source into your live production. Besides basic camera and source switching, let's try to produce a slightly more complex scene. In this example, we will take two live sources and a static graphic frame to compose a picture-in-picture -picture layout composition. When opening the settings of an asset, the asset's display dimensions can be resized and repositioned by adjusting the width height, x, and y coordinate. To make it easier, any custom dimensions can be saved into presets for later use. I've created presets beforehand, so I will be selecting these presets to adjust the size and position of my live sources. Now that I've created my picture-in-picture -picture and I can preview this in my preview monitor, when I'm ready, I can take this live into my program. Now I'm going to go over how to bring in remote guests into a live broadcast. Producer Guest is a WebRTC-based contribution web app that enables guest contribution workflows such as multi-party chat or interviews or remote commentary workflows. Guest users only need a smartphone or a laptop to start streaming their webcam and microphone into Producer. We do this by sending a single URL link to the remote guest which they can open using a web browser on any device. Once they do this, 
and they are presented with the producer guest interface. Once the guest has joined, you will see their live contribution as a source in producer. If you have external monitors or TV screens, you can make use of producers' pop-up multi-viewers to further enhance your live production experience. You can create different versions of multi-viewers, each with a different layout for different users and needs. The layout of each multi-viewers are fully customizable, enabling you to add and remove rows and columns and assign specific sources to specific areas within the multi-viewer. Save the multi-viewer so that you can reuse it at a later date. Besides the control room and the multi-viewers, Producer also comes with a dedicated audio mixer interface for audio production. You can choose which sources you want to control and assign it to a track within the audio mixer. Once added to a track, you can adjust the gain, volume, and pan of the audio source as well as quickly solo or mute a track. Like the multi-viewer, the audio mixer is also fully customizable where tracks and pages can be added and removed to meet the needs of your workflow. Finally, there is a main track control that allows you to adjust the main volume of the program. Now, let's move on to Gravio's live recording and live clipping tool. Now that we've successfully delivered our live broadcasts, we want to clip and publish VOD videos and highlights too. Here, we see our recorded program feed playing out in the live clipping tool. I can seek back to any time in the recording to find the content I'm interested in. Once I'm happy with my clip, it's time to distribute it. Let's give this clip some metadata, including a title, description, and a social message. We're also able to add tags to the clip, which can enable us to quickly find this content later if we want to reuse it or bring it into a live broadcast. Finally, let's choose our publishing destinations and click Save and Share. In a matter of seconds, this clip will be published on every destination we have selected and sent to the campaign we have chosen. This is the campaign view where clips saved from the live clipping tool are stored and presented here. By selecting an asset, we can preview the VOD file within the browser or download it to our desktop. We can also publish the asset to more destinations or check out the direct links of the pub final published asset. Besides social platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, you can also publish VOD assets to other OVP platforms and file storage destinations such as FTP and AWS S3. Thanks very much for watching this quick demo of the Grabio platform. If you would like to know more, please contact us by emailing hello at grabio.com.